good morning. I am joining you here on this All Souls Day, Monday the 2nd of November, in a cemetery. Now, I know this doesn't look like a cemetery, and it isn't a traditional cemetery. However, when we moved here, one of the wishes that my father had that we couldn't make uh, come true was that he wanted to come and see our farm, and he didn't have that opportunity. As a matter of fact, his funeral was the day before we moved here, but it had been his hope to come here, and so we took part of his ashes and we put them under this weeping willow tree. He loved weeping willows. They were his favorite trees, and when we saw this tree on the property, we just knew that this was was his tree and so in that way he was able to come and be uh, with us come and visit our farm if, if you will um, all souls day originates way way back when the catholic church celebrated on uh, november 1st all saints sunday and they celebrated the saints the people who were tr truly had been canonized by the church and then the next day was all souls day and that was for everybody else uh, all those who had already died and particularly it was a day to pray for people who were in purgatory now we protestants don't believe in purgatory purgatory is the place where uh, catholics believe people go to be further purified before they're able to go into heaven uh, we don't believe in purgatory and so during the protestant reformation all souls day became a day actually to visit cemeteries uh, not to pray for the dead but actually to pray for ourselves but not to pray that the dead will be able to get into thank into heaven uh, but to pray prayers of thanksgivings for the dead so as we talked yesterday at All Saints Day in church, uh, the, the Christian church always uh, uh, treats death as a reality. We are willing to look death in the face, and yet we know that Christ has conquered death. And so today is a day for us to remember those uh, people that we love so much who have gone on to be with the Lord, not to pray that they will uh, get out of purgatory, but rather to pray prayers of thanksgiving. And if you're like me, you probably have discovered that the journey of grief is one of loss and, and pain to a sense of great thanksgiving for their lives. And the thanksgiving, at, at least for me, often kind of overshadows the feelings of loss and pain. And the thanksgiving also is not simply for the life they live, but for the promise that we will see them again, that we, we will spend eternity with them. So I invite you, if you can, to go to some special place today uh, to pray for those that you love, a cemetery or some other special place. If you can't go there physically, go there in your mind and spend some time in prayer, praying prayers of thanksgiving for those who have encouraged you, those who have loved you, those who have been part of your life, and pray prayers of thanksgiving that they are still a part of your life through the fact that Christ has conquered death and that they are with the Lord. This is a wonderful day for us to remember. God is with us. Amen.